All right, so Chris and I are out here today, taking a day off from work and gonna do a little gold prospecting. So here it is, we got our, our dry washer out here and gonna dig for some gold, see what happens. So, see if Chris can get this thing started. We're just about ready to do a clean out here after about 10 minutes of digging just to test and see if we're uh, finding anything here. Uh, I should probably explain how it works first. First of all, the air blows up through a mesh on the bottom of this pan here. And it blows the light stuff up and the heavier stuff, hopefully gold, uh, stays and gets caught in those little riffles there. Take all this stuff out. Put it in here. Then we go do a little tester on it, see if we got anything. If, if not, we move on to the next spot. All right, now Chris is here uh, just panning out some of our concentrates to see if we can uh, find anything in here bring a couple gallons of water down here and put it in this tray. It's an easy way to do it instead of going back to camp each time. This will take a little while. He's, he's pretty slow at it. Okay, you can see some of that black sand is starting to show up. That's the stuff you want to get into. It's usually pretty heavy stuff and doesn't float off the top. See, the same thing as with the the dry sluice, those little riffles catch the heavier stuff. See the edges there, all black. Okay, after uh, our third scoop, well, on our third scoop, Chris has been kind of working here and kind of start to see a little bit what we're coming up with here. A little color. It's kind of hard to see maybe, but not too bad for 10, 15 minutes of work, just getting going, so. Anyway, I don't know what's visible there or not, but that's it.